Hey you guys, it's Chris. Um, and today I'm just gonna show you guys 6.5. It's been out for about a day now, and um, I figured you guys might want to be inter might be interested in checking it out. Anyway, here it goes. It's installed in HTC Touch Pro 2. The upgrade took about five minutes to um, to reflash the ROM. It's a pretty nice upgrade. If you have H if you have an HTC phone, it comes with a new revision to touch to TouchFlow 3D called HTC Sense, like common sense, you know. It's on the Verizon network. This is my puppy. All right, so you guys probably probably familiar with this with this on um, screen. It's what you know. If you search 6.5, this is what you see. You can scroll different things that you want right on the home screen. You can actually scroll scroll to pictures. You can see your pictures on the screen, which I think is pretty cool. You got your music, phone. You can see your voicemails right on the screen. Again, back to your clock. If you have any text, it's pretty cool. You can read the text on the screen. It'll come up on the screen. I don't have any any messages now because, as I said, it came. This came out a, a day ago. The phone isn't even activated yet. But um, you got email, calendars, and your favorites, which is pretty cool. Um. The start menu looks like that. Pretty nice. It's pretty responsive. It has. It still has the resistive touchscreen, but um, it's pretty nice. They have some phones that are coming out the win with Windows 7, Windows Mobile 7 that has a capacitive touchscreen, so it enables multi-touch and whatnot. Which is um, I can't wait to see that come out. It's gonna be pretty cool. That's the new Windows operating system. The new Windows Start menu, and this is this is another pretty cool feature. It's um, it incorporates the slide function. If you have any new text messages or whatnot, it comes up actually on the block screen itself. That's the clock. That's how it looks when it's um, locked. And to unlock it, you simply take the icon and slide it to either way, and it'll unlock the phone. And then I'll show you guys how it looks with, um, with touch flow on. So we'll first go to the start menu. Then we'll go to settings. Today, items, and then we'll scroll down. I'm sorry, it's really it's really responsive. Just say I'm using one hand for the camera, one hand for that, so I can't line up too good. Anyway, we'll switch over to HTC Sense. As you can see, it's called HTC Sense. You press OK. And then we are now in... HTC Sense. Now, um, I was telling you guys this, is, this looks a little familiar, but it is changed. As you see, the clock looks a little different. On the actual home screen, it gives you the temperature, like the weather, which I thought was pretty cool, and um, my cousin thought it was pretty cool too. Right now, it's not updated, but it will update. As you see there, it says dryer. That's a township that I'm in right now. It uses GPS functionality to um, display where I'm at and the weather to use. I still got my call history, my calendar, and whatnot. Um, the start menu is a little bit revised, but it's no no big difference. The icons are different, as you see. The phone icon is different. The um, I don't know. There are a few different ones. A lot of them aren't even up right now. The settings thing is a little bit different. Now another cool thing: the icons are now in color. And this bar is in 3D, as you can see, which is pretty cool. The weather, the the um, the behavior of the weather is still the same, as you see here.
I mean, that's basically that's basically it. That's this is Windows 6.5. There are a lot of other you know changes, but those are basically the aesthetic ones, the ones that you guys would probably be interested in. There goes the weather I was telling you about on the home screen. Pretty cool. We actually got the. For, I don't know how we did it, but we did get the home screen to actually change. The entire screen changed with the weather. It was pretty cool. We have no idea how we did it. Don't ask. We won't tell. Um, and I mean, that's basically it. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment me. I um, I respond to all comments. And take care. Have a great day. And again, 6.5 Windows Mobile is now available for select phones for select people. Have a great day.